Hello and welcome back to Children of Morta. And uh, in the last episode, in the end, I explained what we were going to do. We're going to do the third dungeon and we're going to do area 30 with Lucy. So without any further ado, let's get going. We do, uh, the reason why we're doing Lucy is because we need one more level. Uh, however, we are going to do this for as long as we can go. So if we get to the boss and can actually fight the boss, we will. Now, she is quite annoying in how she functions. That you have to stand perfectly still. Uh, but... That's fine. It's probably not going to uh, go wrong. Hopefully we won't take so much damage that we die without le getting to level 20. But we'll see. Oh, bo -bo 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 -bo. And he has, he has gravity pull. Could you please not? Like, seriously, stop. Thank you. Now. Oh. Yeah, with this, there's no way we not. Getting to the next level, really. The... There shouldn't be any problems getting to the next level. Uh, we have a bunch of... Um, gemstones. We have... Um, uh... We have quite good damage, like, as this character, but she, she is a bit finicky because you have to stand still. And since she's a mage, she's not good, like, she's not designed to take damage, uh, technically, which means now, she does have a bit, like, she. I think she has more HP than Linda, because she's more prone to take damage, Not but so I could be wrong. Game of chance and memory. I have upgraded this, uh, like, the HP so much, I'm not sure, really, who, who has more uh, at this point. Let's see if we can get rid of them before they get to me and get rid of me uh now let's see is it this one okay it's that one no nope, not that. okay so it's four we know it's number four as the first one and then we don't know so four one yeah one four one Three? No. Okay. So it's four, one, two, three. Yes, this will hurt because uh and yes you are still alive. Here we go. Oh I almost hit that. Um Okay. Four one two And I would probably say that it wasn't worth it, but whatever. Uh, the XP was, was worth it. Okay, we are almost there when it comes to the next level. We are not far off. 
Uh... Okay. Uh, where, 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 down here, right? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Uh, where are the enemies? Enemies, where are you? Uh, side windows lord uh, windows launch in all directions when using primary attack okay oh okay right uh it really was in all directions not as one might have thought Okay, I don't think that's a good one. And we leveled up. Could you please hit... Like, what's important to hit? And yes, I do know you guys are alive. And yes, I do want to kill you before I do anything else. And let's see here. There's no point in trying to evade because uh, uh okay because he's so hard to stun lock anyway and get to stand still so it's really not any like any major point in doing that so Get the HP P and you please stop hitting me. There you go and your left. There you go pick the gemstone up. Now, this is going to be a bit more precarious because the enemies are more annoying and like have a bit more health and so on and so forth. I have to kill the ranged ones. Like getting the ranged one uh, ones might be more important uh, most of the time. <laughs> Because either they do a lot of summoning or they do a, like annoying ranged attacks or try to put up walls to block you and so on and so forth and so getting rid of the ranged ones first is probably very important. <clears throat> now depending on which character you are playing uh, it might be more or less important. Now for someone like Linda, <coughs> sorry, um, like Linda or, um, or Lucy, it is pretty important to do that because they can't really afford to take un unnecessary damage. Like it would be nice if you could move, like could you please move away from there, like please. Thank you. Pick the HP pot. Let's go. 
down to the next floor. Looks like I picked this one up, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was the poison. Right, right. Right, yo. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Let's go on. Let's continue onwards with the saga. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Oh, it's a red one. I have to be a bit careful there then. Um. Yep, there it comes. And there the it comes like the really annoying thing is that like bombardment from up above that that it does <coughs> <coughs> that's the really like annoying one like other stuff you can handle but that's just because if you get hit, you are frozen in place and can't do anything. You lose control of your character, basically, for a bit. Let's pick this one up. Dragon of Soul is a really good one, actually. It doesn't uh, do much else other than da damaging um, things, but... It is quite a lot of damage, the and it is really good. The now threatened the hero was a crudely focused inferno of okay. hatred and malice. There we go. That was easy. Uh, probably the e a much easier challenge room. <laughs> Than um, uh, than um, like the wave one. Uh, actually, the slow totem is way better. So, whoa. Yeah, and that's stun. For like that stun rune for the for the shift is very helpful. I think that was everything, yeah. Uh let's see here where we are. Hopefully I'm at home, but I think we have done 50% or more, maybe 70 at this point of the dungeon. This is something to press F on. Sadly, nothing in the corpse, but you never know. It's RNG, so rolling the dice is a good thing. Yes, I activate you. you actually, get away. Uh. Okay, she has actually, like, I can't click. I'm clicking now. I have to hold. So you can't click. That's probably how they made her work. The way she's working. Um, by making it so you have to uh, have your mouse button pressed down. Uh, so you can't really cheese uh, the way she functions. Or you could just spam click. Because I can see that's something I would have done if... Um, if it was possible. 
Now, it doesn't... Uh, it wouldn't have been... Um, like, that major, but just the fact that you could... Like, move a bit, and then attack, and then move a bit... Uh, is better. It would have been that... Small... Comforts... Uh, comforting... Uh, uh, move... That... Would have made it feel way much safer uh, in certain cases. Uh, let's get rid of you. That's interesting. I I actually I didn't thought about it. Uh, like how how you attacked with her. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Go. Okay. Uh, it's a spawner. It's an egg spawner and there's a mage spawner. There we go. The mage spawner is gone. Uh, the egg spawner is gone. Okay, that, that was an HP pot, okay. I don't know. And there's a obelisk of fortune. That's it. And we have some pong to one do. One mortal and one god of games. Let's see. You can get a bit unlucky uh, sometimes, I think. It's not that common, but I... Th it is probably possible to be a bit unlucky with uh, either the, uh, like how how you get out of sync and not and won't hit or where the new ball comes in play, which could be in a way which you just loose but I would say uh, it is quite easy I would I would pro I would love like a hardcore mode where the puzzles and stuff are actually as well a bit harder as well uh, on top of the dungeon like the enemies and stuff being a bit harder and you are going to have to care about active items and stacking correct, uh, like correct out items you have to use your gemstones wisely. Uh, for example, I uh, I would like that. I would probably say it's going to have, like, I would make it, if I were the, uh, the developer, I would make it, um, uh, I would make the, that hardcore mode, uh, basically toggable after you finish the story, uh, or whatever you set as a requirement. Uh, just so you don't get like someone who has never played a game before or played action RPGs before accidentally get into hardcore mode you're actually gonna have to basically finish the game to get to hardcore and at that point hopefully you are uh, either skilled enough or you know enough uh, uh, to either know that you can do it or can't do it. 
and then deciding no I'm not going to do hardcore or yes I'm going to do hardcore because whatever reason you might have but I am finding the game to be a bit easy now uh, from what I'm s what I have seen from the like multiplayer perspective it seems to be slightly easier single player so I'm not sure like what mode is the considered default when it comes to how enemies and stuff is made uh, and calculated um, damage wise and HP wise and such now once you start getting a bunch of uh, buffs there are few things which are going to be a problem for you now we actually are up to level 21 at this point <laughs> so And we got Omnus Pro Uno. So probably because every single character has the skill 20 family uh, perk. Soul of the family loses continued dancing brightens everyone's day. All family me members enter dungeons with another additional gemstone. So instead of just entering with... Um, with... Um, one you now uh, enter with two mages will upon receiving fatal damage lucy instead conjures a decoy and temporar temporarily becomes invulnerable okay i can see why that cost cost you costs you three probably because uh a it's a very good thing and B uh, because it's 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 just one level probably there's not two or three uh, possible levels to it it's just one level uh, uh, chance for burning meteors to fall upon enemies during guardians rage uh, yes we are going to pick that one. Uh, beam amplify would be good as well, to be honest. Uh, we have <laughs> a bit more than we need, uh, but we do have one more area, one more floor to go to. Uh, I can't remember if I did the whole second floor, but we don't need to care. We have reached the require level for everyone at this point so uh, getting this done a bit sooner is something i desire uh, because we do want to get into the absolutely lost dungeon with which is the mountain of ore Uh, oh, we are taking way too much damage uh, damage there that that's not acceptable yikes that was a lot of damage though we did survive but yeah, that was not good. Uh, get a bit of movement speed. Getting the knockback on the primary attack is probably a very good thing. Uh, 
we are going to open this because we have so many gemstones. Well, there we go. <laughs> Could you please stop running away? Oh, thank you. Open this one up. Uh, okay, just HP. It's fine. Uh, picked up the money. I'm gonna run up here a bit. Enemies. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good going back up. Uh, because we might have now we didn't get any good uh, item like the item was really not something we wanted but it could have been uh, it was an item room so skipping that would not have been desirable <laughs> Jin was created to improve the city Plugged into the very walls of Terra Lava, it controlled defense and life support, making instant decisions for the betterment of the people. But if Jin decided to be the threat, if the water filtration shut down, Jin fixed it. If a threat appeared, Jin eradicated it. Right. Uh, here we go. And uh, not sure how much left we have up here. Uh, we have found everything we can find up here. So let's keep on going. Okay, that's uh, an enemy. Uh, I have to take care of you. No money. What's over here? Okay, this this is the end. We have a shop. Okay. And we have a rune fixer <laughs> um like the amount of more of gained is not necessarily needed we are going to take that one uh, increased primary attack at the expense of decreased maximum health. Uh, no, I think we'll hold for now. We'll see if we can find any chests and stuff. If we can, we should probably open them up instead. <laughs> there we go. Um, and these, uh, HP pot, and this one, a bit of money. Okay. Um, oh, I almost got, got hit there. Almost. Like. I, in the last bits, uh, I, I saw it, so I moved, or rather, I didn't see it, I anticipated it, uh, it coming, so I started moving, and, like, a second later, 
um, it was there and it had almost hit me if I hadn't moved I would have been hit and I would probably have taken a lot of damage if I did get hit by it so Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, let's see what's left of the map. It's not a lot, not a lot to, to explore at this point. Um, I mean, we could just go to the boss and just end it, but... Gain, getting that tiny bit more XP uh, or, or like stuff would probably be good uh, yes that's you let's let's wait for this one to come and we just run away there there we go we have this oh it's a bit it's more pong okay in the distance, a chuckle echoed as another approached his table. Here we go. Probably like one or two more. Yeah. There we go. And we didn't get anything exciting. Uh, no. Just a bit of money. That's about it. That's all we got. And uh, now we have explored everything. So let's just head to the boss. I'm not going to teleport. I'm just going to run there. It's close enough. There we go. And uh, I'm going to go in here. Uh, I'm going to mend the ones I can. And sure, let's pick this one up just because we can. Just increase the amount of money we get uh, during the boss fight and afterwards. Um, be honest like we don't we don't actually need it but it will be welcomed i'm going to skip because we have seen this already now I wasn't ready for that one. I would have uh, made sure to do it. Let's see, over here. We have to do it. There we go. And whoop. this one is going to be annoying because if we can stand still in the same place, that would be super good. But if we can't, like, See the damage. He's down 50% already. Like, one. Like, the amount of damage this character can, can deal, it's insane. It's so much damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to move, right? No, I'm, I'm fine. Still, still fine. But now I have to move. There we go. Okay, that that good. That's good. Now the gemstones are completely useless. Uh, there's no point in them dropping. But yeah, whatever. We have a bit of money there, and we're just going to go back. And with that, that's actually a good stopping point for this episode, so... Yeah, let's just head back. Uh, 
I actually forgot time, but that's with what we did and uh, like where we were uh, in the run. I would say that's actually a good stopping point, even though we are five minutes over the 30 minute mark. But with that, thanks for watching. Goodbye. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.